So I don't know what's happened to my other video, but my phone doesn't seem to be uh, sorting these videos out. I'm gonna have to get something sorted. Really, it does pause it and I can come back to it. So sorry about all this. You have to just get these videos watched as quick as you can. Yeah, so I swapped it. It's, it is a bit of a nightmare. I have lost a bit of fluid out of here. I managed to get a squeezer on it though. I shoved a bolt in the end of it and squeezed it pretty quick. Um, a little bit didn't come out of there, mainly it piped, so we'll, we'll see what the clutch is. I might have to put a few squirts to it and bleed it up a little bit while the dashboard's out. Um, but I'll bolt it together and uh, see what's going on. It's the eight. Bit of a manhandle thing, this thing you've got to twist and put in, which dislocates that pipe so you might be better putting a squeeze on it right close to there there's a bit of a flange there so just somewhere there maybe and then uh, take that pipe off you're probably going to lose some fluid so I'd say you're going to have a bit of a clutch thing that just pops on and off a bit of clutch switch there sometimes that causes high revving um, on a couple of Facebook groups and sometimes we take your foot off the throttle sorry when you when you when you dip the clutch it it, it slows down and judders um, some people put that down to a clutch switch so yeah that's something to bear in mind if you have that kind of stalling feeling i believe when it's coming to a stall it can be that so i've just got to reassemble it just to tighten this up obviously put these clips back on throttle throttle thing back on few bolts so i've not disconnected i've just tied it up out of the way here with the bcm unit and not rest it wise out road screw this back together uh yeah so it's just as i took it to bits really so hopefully you found this video, there's it's probably five parts of this now. I could have done it in one if my phone had kept pausing, but I need two hands and I don't have any way of uh, keep recording really as I do it. But um, I think I'm going to have to sort some out really with a better camera. So yeah, it is a little bit tricky, but it, it's doable. I say you'll never know if you don't give it a go. Could be a new motto for the channel that. You'll never know if you don't give it a go. So yeah, it's it because it, I was going to weld something to it, but I don't see really what you can do. You know, it's it, it, it's a silly bracket, really. I couldn't really strengthen it because I'll probably weaken it even more or bend it out of shape or something. So I've just left it. I don't I don't fancy doing this with dashboarding. Um, you probably get away with well, you could probably set a steering column out, but you've got to get these loose, you see. So it, it really does need dashboard out to do it. it. It's a bit of a strip down this if it goes. So if you buy one, or it's clutch has gone. This is the sort of thing you you could end up doing. But the other video show I get dashboard out for less than an hour. There's loads of other clips and bits and bobs I've done on it. So then you have a good look round, can't you, and uh, see what's going on. But yeah, where's the offending part? You know, it's pretty rubbish that in it. To be fair. But, I've had a few of these vans and I've had six and none of them's really gone. I've, this is the first one I've had and the uh, clutch has snapped, the uh, clutch pedal snapped. So yeah, it's, it's not ideal is it to be fair but it is what it is, look at that. It just wants welding back on there doesn't it? But, how's it go? Like that. So it's a real bad design in it. You can't even get anything on it. I don't know what you could do, you could maybe weld something down outside there to stop it breaking, but then again, what do you do with this? I don't know. I suppose you've started welding it and something happened in an accident, they could blend it. You've messed with pedal box. It's a safety thing at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> Clutches, brakes, all that, so. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I won't do any more putting it back together. I'm sure if you took it to bits, you'll now put it back together, but that's how, uh, that, that, that's how I had to do it throttle off first all these bolts here There's only a few gun them off um, take that off lift that up get up behind there with a screwdriver there's a circuit to come out which is here oh, this is for the other pedal box um, pop that off that's the spare one I've got for the other arm that goes through there just be careful because this rod as well that goes through to that side there it can pop out of its older so you've just got to gently slide it back in so you can line up pedal box up that force it be prepared to bleed the clutch as well but looks of it 
Uh, you're going to have to deal with that, I think. Forget, don't forget to plug your switch back in. So hook it round, take your stone, take that off, pop that off. You need to take that off, that's a bit of a pig to get on and off with a pair of grips. But I'm, I managed to I'll pop that clip off, I think I've shown you how to do it, and bend the little tab back. It slides on the back like that, it slides back down, clip it on, do that, so that's like a security tab. And that'll be, I'll bend this one over, you can see. Bend that over like that, once you've finished, and it completely locks it in to stop it coming off because it's trapped behind there then. And it's also trapped on the inner one as well. That has to come off. I'll give it a bit of a clean, put some more grease in it. Um, yeah, that can be a bit of a sod to get off. Uh, pop that off, and and then away you go. If it's snapped like mine, that'll be hanging loose anyway. So you can just you can just get that piece off, and you have to just manhandle it back on. It's a bit of a pig, but you can do it. Um, yeah, away you go. So we get on, rewind it, fast forward it, take photos of it. If you like it, thumbs up. Any comments? Anybody found an easier way? Let us know. I'm sure, we don't want to know. And uh, see you in the next one. And dashboard and windows. Speak to you soon. Bye.